The Cleveland Browns take on the Houston Texans here at Pizza Hut Stadium. And CJ controlling Cleveland will kick it off to Clef the God and the Texans as Ferguson brings it out of his own end zone and he'll be brought down at the 25-yard line. I know Clef's going to start the game on offense here, Scott, but I'm really curious to see when CJ gets on offense. We haven't seen this Browns team yet here on the main stage or a lot in this tournament, but I think they have a very, very high-powered offense. They got Nick Chubb, who has that arm bar ability. They got Odell Beckham with the grab-and-go ability with jukebox. I mean, there's a lot of firepower there, so if you're Clef, you know you're going to have to put up some points, so this is going to be a big open and drive for them. Up the guy coming out in those Houston, Texas battle Boom. uniforms and hello. Lamar Miller gets dropped for a four yard loss. Try to run draw and CJ just in the backfield. The big fella with the big hit. Deshaun steps and throws and already we're at third and long. My guy red wine when, when I'm playing at, at home I, I'm using the Browns too and I'll tell you that red wine he's a sleeper he's a backup safety that you could sub down at that linebacker position he's got some height and some speed and um, he, he makes a lot of plays gonna bunch it to the left here on third and 14 needs to get to the 35 yard line and that's Sheldrick red wine 90 speed from the U See CJ controlling him right here. Hot routes for days. Trying to get time. Miles Garrett almost got there, and they drop it off. And that's going to bring up a fourth and manageable. That's a 30-yard line. He needs four. And take notes from Clef the God right there. On third down, doesn't try to pick up the entire first down. Willing to check down, take what's given to him, and like you said, get himself in a fourth and manageable. Big play early, Scott. Needs to get to the 35-yard line to continue the drive. Nuke will run in motion. Here comes Garrett. The defense. Got to let it fly, and he'll be sacked at the 24-yard line as a turnover on downs. What a way to open up the game for CJ. Craig Simmons, 23 years old from Bel Air, Maryland. You got to double-team Miles Garrett at some point you're definitely going to want to do that and you, you know what if you're cj this is the situation you want to be in this is where you can really set the tone for your madden season if you can come out here and get a win against the hottest player on the circuit in cleft the god baker mayfield gets absolutely blown up handing it off to nick chubb chubb a huge force at the unit University of Georgia doesn't get anything there. Now to push him back to the 27-yard line. Minute 15 ever already gone by. Five-minute quarters, 40-second play clocks. That could become a factor later on in this one. Really to see, interested to see how CJ is going to run this Browns offense. I mean, I mean, they have the ability to attack you aggressively on the ground with Chubb. You can go through the air with Odell and Joku, Jarvis Landry, Baker Mayfield's got some wheels. And Reed comes up on the stop. You can see a lot of nickel normal. Out of Clef the God, been running for the majority of the tournament. And he'll stay in it here on third and 14. Got to get just beyond the 15 yard line. It's a big play for Clef. If he can prevent the first down right here, you got to assume CJ's going to have to settle for three. Able to pick up the blitz. Mayfield stands, throws, drops it off to Miller. He's going to get the first down all the way down to the 12 yard line. Braxton Miller, little sleeper wide receiver on the Browns, got some speed, decent spin rating. Good first down right there from CJ. Here comes Chubb. Stretch it out to Nick Chubb. He'll pick up a yard. It's going to bring up second and nine at the 11. Already in the red zone. After a turnover downs by Clef the God. That stretch. And Ooh. Chubb. That should be enough for the first down. We'll see where they mark it. Just shy of the marker. Third and inches. We're used to seeing CJ have phenomenal stick work, Scott, but right there, just not his best performance. Looked like he could have just got to the outside, scored a touchdown. Instead, finds himself in third and inches. 41 Mike. 41 Mike. That's 
It will go goal line formation on both sides of the football. Clef known to have good goal line defense, and, and there it Hunt, is. No, sir. That's going to be a loss of two, and that brings up fourth and two, and here comes the kicking team. That's huge, Scott. And when you're dealing with a player the caliber of Clef the God, if you don't think he's going to show up to the party with some goal line defense and no short yarded situations, uh, you, you just don't know high level bad. And that, that's a huge stand right there for Clef. Well, 1.36 to go here in the first. Claff will get it for the second time. I want to welcome you all in. Here to the Madden NFL 20 Classic. Scott Cole, RG along with you. James Cole on the highlights. And we have A. Evan roaming around near the eSports Stadium. And that'll pick up five. Got to be second down. And you got to remember, Clef won two Road to the Classics sponsored by that Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew. And he was telling me how cool of an experience that was. Um, shouted out Starbucks for giving him the opportunity to, you know, get those reps in, make some extra money, get his trip paid for. He's looking to take advantage of it here. And they will beat the cover, too, in those tender spaces. First down at the 29. Watson now, fresh set of downs on the move. Here in the waning seconds of the first quarter. Just our opening game of the round of 64, and there's Duke Hopkins, touchdown Texans! Cleft the God on the board. Way to bounce back if you Clef Wood, AKA Cleft the God. Gets DeAndre Hopkins involved. He's got that corner route, that post flag elite ability. So if he's on a post or a corner route, Scott, he's just going to pretty much have a perfect cut. He's going to hang on to the ball. Way to utilize the strength of your offense and respond after getting stopped on your first drive. Running a lot of man, but then he went to a zone there. And you see Randall trying to get over. And so Clef stopped on his first drive, but comes back. Able to answer. Oh, here goes Chubby. CJ does. Nick Chubb will get on his horse. 50, 40, 30. He could go all the way. Nick Chubb has put CJ back on top. And he got CJ out of his seat. You see the emotion as he pops out of his seat. He says, let's go, Chubb. Responds with a big touchdown. Smacking his leg. And look at the focus. And he's bandanded up with the hoodie. That's good attire right there for a Madden tournament. Fireworks here at Pizza Hut Stadium in the opening quarter. It's an 82-yard run. And to me, Scott, the Browns have the best offense. It's the most versatile offense. You have a mobile quarterback. You have Nick Chubb who can give you an elite-type running game. And then you got to deal with guys like Odell Beckham and Njoku within the passing game. They have such a potent offense. Look at it again. Had it at the 18, and he just works his way through the line, and he gone. No on ball necessary on that one. So Clef the God down by three again. Houston has yet to have a positive running play. And that'll bring us to the end of the first quarter. And at some point, you're going to have to use that escape artist's ability of Deshaun. you got to either move the pocket or get out there and pick up some yards. Yes, get, get some. getting yards on the ground is key in Madden 20. This isn't one of those games where you just want to have to air it out every single down. And one of the things that's probably discouraging for Clef is the first time he tried to run the ball, he got a hit stick in the backfield. That can mess with your psyche a little bit, but here he goes to hop. Up top, the new Hopkins. Where is the defense? Touchdown, Texas. <laughs> and now look at Clef showing a little bit of emotion. We told you he's a former football player. He's got a competitive spirit. He's not going to lay down to anybody, even if it is his friend that he traveled to with the tournament. We got a good old brotherly battle right now. Well, we're talking about not scrambling with Deshaun. That's because there's a spy on the field. 
And that hurts your coverage. And he beats him over the top. Let's look at it one more time. Back against the wall. You're down by three. Going deep. Oh, man, that is just good execution. And again, getting Hopkins on a post route, utilizing his abilities, utilizing his strength. Got that strong arm with Watson. This is just high-level Madden going on all around. Now, can Clef stop this stretch or this dive? Right up the middle with Chubb. They'll pick up five. You got to assume when you see this eye close formation, Scott, it's either a stretch to the outside or a halfback dive right up the middle. Here comes the stretch. Don't forget about the 26 looky. <laughs> <laughs> it's stretch or dive. <laughs> First down, that'll put Nick Chubb over 100 yards. We've only played five minutes and 45 seconds in this one. A lot of offense and big plays. So far, Chubb again. Arm bars one, but can't get away from another. And here's the thing, Scott. You, you got to assume CJ and Clef have played a lot. They're very familiar with each other. And if you're Clef, you need to show that you can stop this run game because other competitors are going to see this game. They're going to watch that tape. And if they see that there's a chink in your armor that you can't stop the run, they're going to test you with it. Baker Mayfield. Oh, he had it. What a work by Reed. It's a user look at midfield. And he'll finally be brought down at the 37-yard line as Reed. That's all Clef. That's all Clef, Scott, right there. He was guarding the corner route. Look at him, looking like he's guarding Odell. Breaks away from it, leaves Odell open, takes away the post. That's high-level stick work from the god. Key Snickers replay here so far. Able to pick up the blitz. Now he'll move the pocket. And just throw it away. Watson Attack. drops it off in the flat. Nothing there. We got some breaking news coming in. Another belt winner has been eliminated from the tournament. James Coe will have the complete update and highlights here at the half. You want to stick around for that? Big third and 11 coming here for Clef. Up by four, looking to make it more. Deshaun. We'll just Good play. Drop it down and then the wildest animation you'll ever see to the 31 yard line. Just a good check down read to get himself in a manageable field goal situation. And once again, Clef not forcing anything down the field, taking what the defense gives him and getting some points out of it. And he's back up a touchdown. He, even though he went four and out to start the game. We've certainly seen some long field goals missed here at Pizza Hut Stadium. Even earlier today, cost some players an opportunity to continue their journey. 2.14 to go. But if you're CJ, you're thinking, one drive. We got this thing tied up here at the half. Let's see if he goes back to Chubb. Here on first and 10 at the 24. That's where he'll go in. Defense. Hello. Did you see what Clef did right there, Scott? He took those outside linebackers and he manually moved them a little bit more outside out of the reach of the tackles in anticipation for that stretch. The defense doesn't set up for you like that by default. That's him manually putting the guys in the places he thinks they need to be to get the stop. That's high level stuff from the God right there. You can see him pinch him down. Now he's in some nickel. Setting up to guard the possible inside zone here on Second and 13. Here at the two minute warning. JJ. Come on. Come on. Able to pick up Watt, but then he's just going to have to throw it away just outside the tackles. Just one for three. 16 yards with Mayfield and an INT. Cliff just all over CJ's passing plays right now. Timeout. Wants to think it over. Big upcoming third down. Decision here with 155 to go from your own 20. Yeah, I agree with you, Scott. This third down is pivotal because if he doesn't pick up the first down right there, he really has to consider punting this rock because if he was to get stopped on fourth down, Clef could easily kick a field goal and make a two possession ball game. This is huge right here for young CJ. It was actually Clef that used his second timeout. So a first down here, he could have an opportunity to 
Work the remainder of the clock of the half. Throws the corner out. Callaway hauls it in at the 47. What a catch. And did you see Clef click onto the safety, get over there, land the big hit. Fortunately for CJ, he hit that possession catch, held on to it, keeps the drive moving. Hands it off to Chubb. Chubb has a block, but Reed comes down in the box and makes the stop. Just shy of midfield, second and eight. Clock on the move. Mention that 40 second play clock. You can take this down to near a minute if you want it. Mayfield steps, throws, it's Odell Beckham, and we got a flag. I think that's a PI. Defensive pass interference. Clef is getting a little too aggressive with the hit stick right there. You don't see that every day in competitive batter, but that's how fast Clef is clicking on and trying to make plays. He's getting PIs called on himself out here. That'll be a spot penalty. They'll move it all the way up to the 22-yard line, and on first down, throws one in the turf as the pressure was coming right in his face. Look at that focus of Clef to God. One thirteen to go here in the second quarter. It's been an exciting one so far. Let's go. And he overthrows Landry. An accurate pass. And you see the text on the screen this year, Scott, that they'll tell you in Madden if you were accurate, inaccurate, if it was the inaccurate, it was called by pressure, if you resisted the pressure. Low key, a cool little feature to just, you know, give you more context as to, you know, why the pass may have been the way it was. Third and ten. Buff trying to hold him to a field goal for the second time here in this first half. Mayfield. JJ gets loose, and there's Landry right up the seam. Touchdown, Browns. Beautiful route combination right there if you see CJ Clef has the key on to Odell Beckham running that little wiggle route underneath. He breaks with his user defender to go and take away Odell and then sneaking right up the seam to that second level. And CJ makes the right read. What a way to put a user defender in conflict. What Look you're gonna see here is JJ come right into your living room and Baker stands tall and delivers. Right to Jarvis Landry, and that's not a bad receiver to send up the seam. The sure-handed receiver for the Browns doesn't have all the speed in the world, but he'll hold on to it for you. And Clef will use his final timeout and able to get out of bounds there. Clock was on the move, and now he's out of timeouts. With 54 seconds to go in the half, trying to get in the field goal range, maybe more. Deshaun barking out the orders. Clef would love to get some points here, Scott. Remember, CJ's going to get the ball to start that second half. Clef would love to be in that situation with the lead. I'm sure of it. Remember, big time updates coming at the half. Another belt winner is leaving Arlington. Empty handed. Right up Hopkins. He does have Hopkins. That same play again, and Nuke will haul it in for the score. Daniel High School's own Nuke Hopkins. You're cleft to God. When you have plays in your arsenal, Scott, that let you score those one play touchdowns when you catch people in certain cover three type looks. It is just such a big deal knowing that you don't need to put together these long, strenuous drives time and time again. You can force your opponent into a certain defensive look, and when you got him there, you know it's crib shot. If you CJ, you got to be ready for that post route going forward to Hopkins. Even if Clef's able to move the ball, you, you got to make him work for it. You can't give it up that sweet. 43 seconds to go in the half. CJ back at it again. And oh no! Odell Beckham, and that will just fall harmlessly out of bounds, but certainly threw into heavy coverage there. Second and ten. Does have all three timeouts, so hand it off to Chubb. Doesn't know where to go, and he'll call a timeout after a gain of five. Third down now. 33 seconds to go in the first half. Trying to tie it up. Sorry, Scott. Uh, uh, you have to be careful passing here. If the clock stops, it's not going to be good for him. Now he's going to have to punt the rock away. I don't know about the pass there, Scott. Right before I got it out, he had already snapped it. But I was, if 
I'm CJ, I'm keeping it on the ground, so if I don't get that first down, I could just go to the half. He was looking for a deep crossing route. Just didn't have time for it to develop, and Will Fuller will be wrapped up at the 27-yard line, and who's ever at strong safety needs to play a little deeper. <laughs> Here with 18 seconds to go. Oh, no, and Hopkins has that double me in the zone ability active. You see that X blinking under him. He's blinging. If you leave him one-on-one, -on -one, he'll torch you. He's got him again. Nuke Hopkins oh. will drop it. Deshaun is 10 of 13 for 245, three touchdowns. And you see Clough's face says it all. CJ is very fortunate right there. That Hopkins didn't hold on to that one. He got behind the defense and the free safety made a heck of a play to get over there. Look at him pressing again here, Scott. I don't like the press in this situation. Hand it off to Lamar Miller. And that's probably how this half will come to a close. As the whistle blows, Clef the God 24, CJ 17. Let's check in with James Coe. All right, thank you, Scott. You talk about that belt winner, Skimbo has been eliminated. He was eliminated by the king. Call the king the MCS hunter because this dude is knocking out belt winners like it's going out of style. Skimbo now, the two-time defending champion, eliminated by the king 24 to 20. Stunning developments, certainly, I think. All right, Scott, RG, let's send you back to your game. That's Clef the God doing some work on the aerial side of things. So Michael Skimbo will not three-peat here in the Classic. He is out of here. That, that's big news, Scott. He felt, we talked that's to him before this news. final game. He felt confident. He's like, I got to play my game. So the first time in three years now, we'll have a new Madden Classic champion. Maybe a passing of the torch that we've seen here on Arlington. It's too late for that. You know what? You, you do have to say it. Um, with Skimbo being out of the tournament, I do want to say, you know, I know he's disappointed, but he's a true champion. And if you saw the way that he walked around this tournament, the respect he gave to the other competitors, uh, the love that he shows to all of them, he takes time to talk to everybody, shake as many hands, take as many pictures as asked to him. Uh, Skimbo, the player, is phenomenal, but uh, Skimbo, the person, may be even more impressive. And uh, that's one of the things we love about him, and we he'll might, be back. We might be seeing Clef the God and the King on a collision course. The King's down there in the loser's bracket, just picking off champions one by one. Clef the God trying to stay on top in that coveted winner's bracket. It's a, it's a much easier road to the final. Chubb again. Will roll his way to the 32. Going to be a second and 11. See Clef rocking his needed gear, representing the needed organization run by Madden legend, Dub Dot Dubby. Right now, he's putting on for Nita with the seven point lead. Baker. And oh! that was close to a fumble. They're going to call it tipped. And it will be incomplete. Well, you, you got to remember, Baker Mayfield does have that last ditch ability, Scott, which is going to let him throw out a sack a little bit more efficiently than other quarterbacks. I think that's what we saw right here. Callaway can't hang on a big hit in the secondary. That's how my football coaches used to tell me to play football. You get a chance to punch him in the mouth, you do it. And right there, Clef clicks on and punches that receiver square in the face mask to knock that ball out. Huge fourth and 11. Trailing by a touchdown. You now the opening possession of the second half. This is huge. This is huge, Scott. What type of dots do you got? Hot routes for days. 
Callaway in motion. Clean pocket for Baker. Got to get rid of it, though. And that ain't going to do it. That ain't it, Chief. He's 3 of 12 in the passing game. And Clef the God will take over on downs. If you're Clef right now, a touchdown's nice. But we all know the most important thing is to not turn this ball over, milk some of that clock away, and make sure you end this possession at least being up two possessions. Watson will go to the air. Wow. Right oh, down the God. seam. Touchdown, Texans. And Clef the gods in <laughs> control. Talk to him, Clef. I've been saving that one. You're so worried about the inside zone. He flips the play, and you bring the safety down. The next thing you know, you give it up right up the seam. And the other thing you got to worry about is Hopkins. He's been destroying you, Scott. You got to focus all your attention over there. And like Clef said, he's been saving that one. He knows once he gets you focused on one thing, it's going to open up others. And this is just a simple seam route. CJ not willing to stay with it. I'm not sure he didn't have Nuke Hopkins on the corner route, too. He has Hopkins wherever he wants in this <laughs> game, huh? 31 to 17. The saving grace of your CJ is Clef was not able to take away a lot of time with that drive right there. So if you're CJ and you can quickly put together a scoring drive right here, you're all the way back in this ball game. You need to have a short memory and focus on this offensive drive right here. He has not thrown the ball well. Been boxed up. Odell finally getting in position over there on the right side. Second and seven. And he will find Braxton Miller. Former Buckeye will hold on at the 47. Much like Drini, pay attention to how quickly Clef is clicking onto these defenders, Scott, and moving them into positions to make plays. If he lets the AI just control that safety when the ball's in the air, that hit stick's not happening. This is Clef doing it himself. RB, watch Bang, out for Roby. Come on. And that'll be incomplete. OBJ can't get two feet in bounds, and it'll be second and 10 at the 47. You need touchdowns from here on out. It's a good feeling when you can play defense and you know your click on is that instant. It allows you to do some other so things. Here he users. goes. There's so many users. I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere. It is a lot of users. Tell you what, B. On, B was naked. Well, he's nervous about it because that's <laughs> the same thing Clef baited it on last time. Clef is guarding Odell on the corner route, but he's also ready to break to that post route. He's literally trying to guard two routes with just his user, and that's why he's up there capping about how good his user is. And for good reason, it's the real deal, man. He's lurking, he's head sticking, and he's showing you why. He's the hottest player on the circuit right now. Fourth and 10 after the drop by OBJ. He's got the temperament, he's got the game plan, he's got the stick skill, he's got the football knowledge. Clef's looking like the total package. What's open? What's open? I don't know what's open. And that's going to be another turnover on downs. And I've been talking about this for five to seven years about so Duke Hopkins being the best receiver in the NFL. I know OBJ made one great catch, but this is this is showing it in this game. Scott is it's a different Clemson. level. Scott is a Clemson guy, but I will say you're probably right. I, I don't think the Clemson is, uh, I, I think you have a Maybe five point. years ago it was my biased. Well, but but it's especially in this year's Madden, it, it's huge with well, these abilities. You know what you have going for you is he's the only player on the offensive side of the ball in Madden 20 that has that 99 overall. So the man Coltrane's not lying right now. Second and nine. Clef's done a good job of getting it into the hands of his playmakers and making plays on the defensive side of the ball with this user, and that's the difference right now. And 31 to 17. And we talk about his temperament and his competitive spirit. Don't forget that he started off this game going four and out, letting CJ score some points off rip and take a lead, and he just didn't even let that phase him. He went right back to focusing at the task at hand, doing what he needed to do, and now he finds himself up 14 with ball against an elite level type player that finished in the final five of this exact tournament last year. Watson here on third down. And he will escape artists for a moment and throw it away. 
If I'm Clef right there, I'm considering just going down with my quarterback instead of throwing it and away. Taking it all the way to the fourth. And just taking this to the fourth quarter and then punting the ball anyway. I mean, he's playing so good, we got to get nitpicky about it. <laughs> Oh, How about this, folks? Yes, it's going to be out of bounds at the four-yard line. Let's get it. Got the special teams going, too. This is, this is a disgusting. I mean, you got to remember, Clef's father is a football coach, a head coach of the high school in land. I mean, he comes from a football family. Chubb almost got away. He's had a good game. 15 carries for 125 yards. A chunk of them coming on an 82-yard run. There in the first half. Let's get off of me. Oh, this is big. A read able to force him out of bounds. One second to go in the quarter. And we'll head to the fourth. Put your fours up. Clef the God in control. Those fours up in the chat. All those people that support Clef in his stream. For those that don't know, Clef does do a lot of streaming on Twitch. No, they're in the chat supporting them. Put your cleft emotes up in the chat. Show him some love for, so he sees it when he goes back to watch this game. First and 10, and that will fall harmlessly to the turf. If you're just joining us, we're coming to you live from Esports Stadium here in Arlington, Texas, here at the Madden NFL 20 Classic. Three belt winners from last year have already made an early exit when you talk about Pavin, Skimbo, and Drini. If you want to throw another belt winner in there, it goes. He's also out of here. Go back. Crazy. Go back. Think it happened at the Classic. Go back, bro. Third and nine. I got a new Hopkins story for you here at some point. A little bit of motion. Mayfield. Go back. Throwing off his back Go foot. Back. He's 5 of 20. Yikes. Just one right here. It's going to bring up a fourth and nine with 4.22 to go in the ball game. Our guy James Coe is keeping an eye on all the other games happening around these top 64. We will get down to just six by the end of the night. And Colvin jumps the route. CJ says there's no way. He's clicking on, he's making plays, Scott. And uh, you know, a story a lot of people don't know about Clef the God that just speaks to what type of nice stick, to what type of player he is, is this was a young man that all the way back in Madden 09, Scott, we used to go to this tournament in Philadelphia called the Players Ball. And it was kind of like the Madden class. People would come all over to play in this tournament. And Clef competed in that tournament at 12 years old, I believe he was at the time, and ended up making the final four. It, it, it was insane. Nobody knew who this kid was. He was there with his mom. His mom was capping at his opponents for him. Like, she was the real deal capper. He makes this insane run in the tournament, and then we didn't see him again for years. I, nobody knew where he went, and it was... Uh, Clef started playing football after that. He, you know, he started really focusing on his real his IRL football career. And he stopped playing Madden for a while, but as soon as he got back into it after, you know, that football career, he picked up right where he left off at 12 years old as an elite level player that's making tough runs. And when I talked to him about it, he said his mom hasn't changed either. She'll still cap at him. <laughs> as a matter of fact, he down. said she, she'd be capping in the chat for him. Shout out to Mama Clef out there. She's watching. Two-minute warning, 51-yard field goal and coming. No wind inside of Pizza Hut Stadium. And it's up and it's good, 34-17. to 17. I was out at a dinner in Houston. Deshaun Watson, my guy, New Compkins. DJ Reader was the guy that put it all together. He used to come on my radio show all the time. That's the DJ, deep, line, right? Yeah, DJ's a, a great guy. Nuke, Nuke told me, he goes, I'm not from Clemson. I'm from Daniel High School. When you talk about me, I'm from Daniel High School. He doesn't have a great relationship with Clemson. It's, That's it's, interesting. It's, it's, it's a little weird. It had something to do with Sammy Watkins at the time, getting all the pub while Nuke Hopkins was breaking ACC records. And they were still promoting Sammy Watkins as the Heisman guy. Kind of left a bad taste in his mouth. 
an interesting one, huh? Even Taj Boyd won't talk about it. It's crazy. Second and ten. Under two minutes to go. The Cole train's full of stories. Mayfield tries to find Callaway, and it will fall to the turf. We're going to have a live look in shortly at what young Kiv is up to in his journey here in the Classic. That's coming to you shortly. He's taking on Noah at this very moment inside the third quarter. Third and 10, 143 to go in this one. This one's pretty much in the fridge as Landry will haul it in at the 40-yard line. We had a great time down at the uh, club championship down in Houston. Top-notch organization. Brett Cole, no relation. Does a great job for the Texans down there in Houston. 34-17, all cleft the God. He has been dominant from the rip. Gave up a long run or two, and oh my goodness. And I love it. There's the former Texan, Jadavion Clowney, getting to the quarterback. Yeah, they're just going through the motions at this point. This, this game's essentially over. CJ fighting for some morale points. Well, it looks like this one's in the book as Baker Mayfield will get called for an illegal pass. So let's check in with James Cole. I love it. All right, thank you, Scott. 